Welcome to the first annual conference of school librarians in distance education. We're so happy to see all of you both in person and via virtual connections at this first of its kind conference. Now before I introduce our keynote speaker for the evening, I would like to provide a bit of background knowledge on the conference theme of collaborating online with new and emerging technology. Collaboration means two or more people working together and is a relationship that requires give and take from all members for it to be mutually beneficial. Collaboration is a 21st century skill. Collaboration is endorsed by the American Association of School Librarians Standards for the 21st Century Learner, as well as the National Educational Technology Standards and the Partnership for 21st Century Skills. But Ross Todd in 2008 claimed that there is also growing research evidence that suggests collaboration is more an elusive dream than an established and seamless practice. Why? Research indicates there continues to be a number of barriers to teacher librarian collaboration, including time, turf issues, and lack of administrative support, but time predominates as the major barrier. Collaboration is a manifesto of the 21st Century School Library Program, the latest guidelines and standards from the American Association of School Librarians situates collaboration at the top of the list in terms of professional practices. Technology tools such as email and web pages and new social media such as blogs, wikis, document sharing and social networking could bridge the time barrier and act as a catalyst to teacher librarian collaboration. So you might be wondering which tools might best serve this purpose and how could they best be utilized? Blogs. By posting upcoming curriculum standards, classroom teachers could prepare school librarians for the curriculum content they will soon need. Teacher librarians could then suggest resources and information literacy activities in support of those units and appropriate for the age group so that collaborative activities could be developed in advance. Wikis. To address the time barrier, collaborative planning could occur on a wiki. Once curriculum standards are identified, teacher librarians could initiate planning by suggesting resources, and classroom teachers could visit the wiki to choose which ones they like, and to help flesh out plans, ask questions, and request additional resources and assistance if needed. Document sharing. Collaborative planning could be accomplished in online document sharing sites where all members of a grade level and the teacher librarian can have input. Completed plans could be published on shared documents and sent to administrators, parents, other school librarians, and district supervisors. Social networking. Social networking sites such as Library Thing and My Shelfari allow teacher librarians to identify book titles and cover shots in support of curriculum units and group them and share them for classroom teachers to peruse. Social bookmarking sites such as Delicious allow teacher librarians to bookmark appropriate online resources for both staff and students and share them through a common link such as a blog, wiki, online document, or web page. In conclusion, I would like to share a quote from Carol Brown, who said probably the most elusive attribute for successful collaboration is a shared vision from the classroom teacher and the teacher librarian. Implications for further research in this area are great. We need practicing teacher librarians who can evaluate new and emerging technology tools in terms of their potential for collaboration. We need to create videos to train classroom teachers and teacher librarians on the best practices to impact student achievement. We need to create models of best practices to share at conferences outside of our own field. And most of all, we need graduate students to evaluate best collaborative practices and share their results in academic journals and at conferences such as this one. 
A prolific writer, researcher, and exemplary practitioner in the school library media field today is David Lurster. David is the author of more than 26 books, including the famous taxonomies of the school library media program. In this latest book, David Lurster asks, are you ready to flip your library with Web 2.0? David is a researcher, speaker, theorist, blogger, and conference presenter. He is multi-talented, brilliant, and full of ideas. And today he will be sharing some new concepts from his latest book. And so without further ado, I introduce David Lurster.